A bag like this ensures that Hans Joachim Benkes stays alive. He injects vitamins and minerals into it, creating a custom meal for the day. Nutritionists have determined the exact amounts of all the ingredients for his individual needs. The three liters of liquid food enter Benke's body through a central line. Unlike standard liquid food preparations, this method is calculated for each individual patient. It takes about 16 hours to empty the bag. The 49-year-old father carries it in a special backpack so he can remain mobile while getting his nutrition. After nearly five years, I'm so used to it that it's pretty much normal for me. It's only rarely that I'm so distracted I get up and walk off without thinking about the backpack. But then the tube snaps me back to attention. Generally, it's just automatic for me. After surgery for colon cancer, Benke was left with just 10% of his small intestine. His condition became critical because he could no longer survive on normal food. His shortened colon was unable to absorb enough nutrients. It hurts that I can still eat, but the food is no longer properly absorbed by my body. I basically excrete it in more or less the same condition as I swallowed it. This is the University Clinic in Münster, Germany's largest outpatient clinic for malnourished people, especially cancer patients. But nutritional medicine is only gradually being recognized as a complementary therapy. We have more than 500,000 new cancer cases each year. 25% of them die from starvation. I think it's high time we in Germany asked ourselves if we shouldn't improve things fundamentally. Patients with tumors in the digestive system, such as pancreatic, colon or stomach cancer, are especially at risk for malnutrition. Profusio near Dusseldorf is one of the companies specializing in liquid nutrition, prepared individually for patients according to doctor's guidelines. This is where Hans Joachim Benke's food bags are filled. He gets 90 liters per month. The main ingredients are proteins in the form of amino acids for building muscle and supporting the immune system, fat, the main source of energy, and glucose, a kind of sugar that also provides energy. A day's ration costs at least 100 euros. It definitely provides a complete day's nutritional requirements, including the fluids that a normal person should drink over the course of a day. Frank Kota also has cancer. His last surgery removed almost his entire small intestine. He's lost 40 kilos. He's fighting cancer and malnutrition. His surgeon got the nutritional experts from the Münster University Clinic on board for Kota's treatment. Right now, I just weigh 64 kilos, and I definitely have to get my weight up. I notice if I try to walk just 10 meters, I get out of breath right away. His surgeon noticed that normal liquid nutrition wasn't enough for Kota and decided in favor of supplemental nutritional therapy. He'll be fed through a central line. This is a new field where we're happy to have found a partner that can help us in special cases, such as an almost complete resection of the small intestine with a tumor that's so difficult to treat, so that we can provide the patient with a considerable improvement in quality of life. Shortly before Kota is released, Professor Markus Massin shows him how to feed himself. You can puncture the portacath with a special needle, and through that you introduce the liquid food you see hanging up there. And that's what you'll do at home, too. Malnutrition is avoidable, but first it has to be diagnosed. Cancer patients have to be basically screened. They have to be examined with a view to their dietary condition. And if there are abnormalities, then steps have to be taken. Hans Joachim Benko was lucky. He's back to his normal weight. He got proper nutrition because he learned about the outpatient clinic in Münster. <laughs>